In this particular example, we want to calculate the uh, standard error of the mean and the Z score of a sample. And in particular, we have got a sample of seven patients here. We measure the concentration of a biomarker and these are our numbers. And as I said, we want to calculate the standard error of the mean and the Z score for that. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to calculate the sample mean. So that would be the sample mean. And that's very easy to do. We just simply add up all the concentration readings and divide it by the number of observations that we have. And in Excel, we can do that very easily with the average or mean function, mean, and we just highlight the cells here and we get a mean of 11.11 uh, milligram decimeter to the minus three. So that is our sample mean. Now for the standard error of the mean, the standard error of the mean is defined as the standard deviation. And in this case, we've been given a standard deviation of uh, the population divided by the square root of the sample size. So here, the standard deviation is 2.07 milligram decimeter to the minus three. And N that was our sample size and that is seven. And again, we can calculate that. So equals the 2.7 divided by the square root of seven. And that would give us our standard error of the mean. And the units would be milligram, again, milligram per cubic decimeter. Now for the Z score, uh, again, that is not terribly difficult to calculate. We just simply take the sample mean that we've got minus the population mean and divide this just simply by the standard error of the mean. So if we do that, again, let's do that here, equals, we calculate the sample mean, that is what we just calculated here, minus the population sample mean, that was 10.05, divided by our standard error that we just calculated, and that is this value here. So that gives us a Z score of 1.36, roughly. So Z score is 1.36. So basically that means that the mean of the population, if we look at a normal distribution like that, the, that is our normal distribution, which is around 10.05 distributed, the value for our Sample mean 11.11. So that would be, say, here, that's the sample mean. That would be here 1.1.36. 1 standard deviations. Or in this case, we will probably use the standard deviation for as the SEM. 1.3 times 6, the standard error of the mean, which is the new standard deviation for our sample distribution. And we see that the sample mean is 1.3 times 6 times the standard error of the mean above the 
population mean of 10.05. So I hope this makes sense. Uh, it shows you how you can calculate the z-score for any value that you have uh, when you have got a sample. And uh, thank you very much for watching.